Hey everybody, it's Savage Sage, and welcome back to my playthrough of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. So, in the last episode, we still couldn't figure out what the heck we wanted to do. Now that we've beat Bloodless, we're in the underground waterway. Watch out, I have an umbrella. Um, apparently, there's a certain demon we're supposed to kill. It's not even a boss. We were looking for a boss, but I guess it's just like a regular-ass demon that we have to kill, and then that'll give us the ability to swim. Or navigate through water. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if I would have gotten this on my own. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of loose ended for the game. I obviously I didn't look at any spoils, or I literally looked at one that little one part. Found that we have to kill a thing called a Decema or something. And once we do that, then we'll be good to move forward. So let's just do that. I wasn't trying to freaking spend a whole no episode faffing. One whole episode faffing was plenty for this game. <laughs> let's just say it that way. Stay away from me, you gargoyle boy. Uh, get out of here. Ouch. I hate you. There we go. Um, I'm coming off of like... I just went to the gym, you know? So I just ran a bunch, I was working out, and I'm very, like, you know how, like, you come off of a high as soon as you do that? I'm riding that dopamine high right now, so I was like, screw it, let's just record. I've actually been recording a lot today, because I start my new job on Wednesday, and as of recording this, this is a... What day is it? Saturday? Pretty sure it's Saturday. Anyways, as of recording this, um, I just want to get a bunch of bulk recording done so then I can still keep constant content on the channel but as soon as that new job starts here in a couple days I want to be able to focus on that so I want to get enough content to buy myself enough time to do that you know what I mean let's see we're looking for something called a decima I actually think I know what it is because it said that it gives us the water stream ability and I feel like we've seen a demon maybe that looks like it would give us a water stream or something of that sort, considering it was running all around. Let's save real quick. We're right here. We're in the area. So why would you not? But yeah, I would have kept faffing around and looking for another, like, boss or something. Honestly, if I didn't look this up, so I'm glad that I did because I'm not trying to ruin our life like that. Oh, we have to go this way. Get Archdemon, can you get out of my way? Like... I guess I don't mind killing you because the shards that you can potentially drop are really good, but like, get out of my face. <laughs> For reals. Okay, let's, we just kind of forgot how to jump between this recording session and the last recording session. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think it's the jellyfish thing. You. I think you're a decima. You are a decima. Give me your shard, bud. Nothing. We need to get one of them uh, shards. There we go. That is what we needed. Aqua Stream allows you to swim by launching water in designated direction. So yeah, rude, but we have it. And it re replaces our reflector with ray, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So then how does this work? Oh, we have to go the opposite way. Oh, well, I hate that. Mana isn't used underwater when we're using this, but this is actually the worst. Wow. They should have just gave us a swimming ability, to be honest with you. Like, what the heck is this? These Decimas, I don't mind killing because it seems like we have to kill them. Yeah, because it's one of our quests. And there's five more to kill. Oh my god, this is so hard to control. And as soon as you stop controlling it, what, you just go back to the top? Oh boy. This is going to take some getting used to. So Miriam just shoots herself around. What? Oxygen is not an issue for her? I'm confused. How do we... Listen. What the heck? I can't get that chest. Maybe... I don't know. I can't get that chest, though. Okay, dumb. Maybe the water will drain or we'll get a different swimming ability. Wow. Especially for this, I feel extremely necessary to have the portraits on. What the hell? Ugh. I usually am not a fan of underwater sections in games, and this is no exception. I hate this. Actually, it's kind of fun once you get going, but as far as, like, you can't defend yourself, 
really you have to have these guys on i mean luckily we have these portraits so this makes it hella easy if we didn't have the portraits what would you use to defend yourself here oh god a freaking water horse and luckily we can kind of hit once we float to the top if we decide to go that far would you give us horse a better swimming ability that'd be nice increase underwater movement speed wow okay that freaking hurt that might be useful but i think we kind of oh get down Wow, those things freaking hurt, dude. I need a save room now. <gasps> oh my god, they're everywhere. <laughs> Luckily, we have some high potions, but like... We gotta be... I gotta have control here, and I have no control of this... Swimmy crap. <laughs> oh god, this is literally the worst. <gasps> I knew our timing was wrong then, but I don't know how to like... Oh god, oh god. Tank it, just get out of here. Okay, that's a skilla. I don't know what that means, but... We got a chart, I guess. Hello. Resist slash. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, no, no. What are... Hello. Pull out your ability. Why is she not pointing anymore? Hello, game. Did we break? There we go. Now she's pointing. She, like, stopped for a minute. And I was like, Hel are we broken? Get those going. You never know. Steam likes to mess with my controller. So, that could always be a possibility. I hate this swimming part. So, like a chest like this, right? I'm floating right next to it. And what? I can't get it? So, this only leads me to believe that this area is going to drain eventually, right? That only makes sense. It has to, right? Because, like, we can't pick up any of these chests or anything. Or we'll get something different that'll let us traverse through this a little bit easier. Something along those lines. I mean, something has to happen here. This is terrible. This is awful. Oh, good. We're out of the water. Is this a normal place? Oh, it's a transitional area. Do I necessarily want to do that right now? No. Let's go back. Let's go up. Because we want to fill out this map a little bit more. But that's obviously probably the way we need to go. If I had to guess. Let's get the protection on us. Oh, God. You're really hurting us, people. See, is there an... Oh god, these things. Let's go ahead and use a high potion here. <gasps> as soon as we get a warp, we're going to want to go back so we can buy more shit. Navigating is hard. Oh god, oh god. Go, go, go. Oh, you still got hit, lady. Use the invincibility squares. Yes. No, screw you, horse. Aqua horse. <coughs> so go low here. Go, 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 go. Oh man, I was going to just say, just go if we can. But you literally can't. This is terrible. Get away from me, fishy boy. Oh my god. Good thing this doesn't um, drain your MP. Because, like, what would happen? If you just ran under MP out the water, you can't move anymore. You're just, like, floating there. Sick. Let me reset my game. That would be terrible. That would really piss me off, actually. I really want to not waste another high potion healing us. But at the same time, I feel like we might need to. So why on the map, right? I'm intrigued by this. Even if we have to go back in there a little bit. Ooh, even though we don't want to kill everything in our way. Uh. What is this on the map? There's like a little green square. Do you see what I'm talking about? I don't know. Maybe it's something we can use later, question mark. Oh, that platform just broke. That's cool. So we went to save over here, but then there's also some exploring we can do over here, and then then we'll work our way, what, to the transitional area? This is terrible! Do, do, do. Get out of here, bat. What What was that bat trying to do to me underwater, anyway? Shovel Knight, please be nice to me. We don't have that much HP. Ugh. Okay. Filling out the map. The underwater map. Ugh. That's it for the underwater? Oh, there's another side to it. Of course there is. Get out of here. Done with this. <laughs> Alright, let's use this save room. Thank you so much for the heal. And a nice save there. Are we anywhere near... No, we're not. So let's get this other... We're gonna have to remember, because I think there was other underwater parts that we could get to before and also did we ever check the freaking galleon minerva or whatever that ship since 
since we got the reflector ray thing. Is there anything left that we need to do over there? I kind of forget. Oh, there's some chests and stuff that we didn't get in a room. So we should maybe go faff over there next time we get a warp. But right now we're not lucky enough to have a warp. Maybe we'll find a warp in whatever new area we're going into. <coughs> X-shovel armor? That looks like it was a rare drop from him. Is it... Is it worth a shit? No! But maybe it would have been cool if we would have got that way earlier. Yes, this lack of... Being able to open chests underwater really confuses me. Unless I'm just doing something wrong, which 100% possible, because Lord knows I made enough silly mistakes in this game. But... Oh god, oh god. How does this happen? She gets, like, stuck under stuff like that. This game has a couple little baby glitches. Nothing major. Obviously, it runs pretty dang smooth, but little stuff like that, I'm like, oh my god. And these chests, like, am I supposed to be op able to open these? Something must happen later. Or we must be able to drain the water or do something. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know. I would assume something better than just launching ourselves through the water like this. Having to fight enemies like this. What did you give me, Fishman? Faisha, fling a sharp silver of sliver of ice towards the enemies. Well, that's kind of interesting. Not better than our portraits, of course, but... Get out of here, sir. Yeet. <laughs> we're kind of getting the whole hang of... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're getting straight yeeted right now. Run. Back the hell up, horse. Ugh. When we sort of get the hang of it... Oh, my God. When we do get the hang of it, Miriam does look quite majestic running through... All this bullshit. Oh, fuck me. If we get hit again, we're dead. Luckily, I have an another high potion. A couple more regular potions. But we gotta stop doing that. I mean, we really do. Screw this water stream. Well, I guess I should have killed more of those water stream guys while we were over there, huh? Oops. There'll be more opportunities. I'm sure we'll be running our butts through here. Again. Ugh, I'm just kind of happy to be not in the water. Let's put our reflector ray back on, because I really like having that. And if this is not going to be an underwater level, fingers crossed, hidden desert. Ooh, a desert level. Now that's kind of interesting. I'm excited for this. A red ghost. We liked the last ghost shards when we got them. But I don't know if that means we'll like this one. Ooh, we're gonna get it, though. What is it, sir? Purple shard. Fire beam in a designated direction that slows enemy movement. Now listen, that could maybe be useful for, like, a boss fight. We'll keep that in our back pocket. That looked like a fake wall if I've ever seen one. We need to get a little closer to it. Is this breakable? No? Interesting. What's over here? We have things to explore, things to do. Please get out of my way. Because, yeah, you hit up on these chests to open them. And you couldn't do that in the underwater land. And I don't know what was up with that. Ooh, Alicor. It looks like a leveled up version of the wares that we've been seeing. Ouch. There's a lot of rude people up here. It's because there's a max MP up. That makes sense. Nice. What's over here? Watch me have skipped the freaking save room over there. I probably did. I should go check it out. Because this is looking like the way forward. That guy is rude. Augma increase your con. Well, I might be interested in that. Oh, you can leave those little roses anyway. Interesting. So, like, marker points. I should be using that more often. Oh, good, I'm poisoned. Just what I love to hear. So that poison actually does a shit ton to you. Oh, good, and you're breathing fire on me. Sick. We're doing great. Get out of here. Yes, another augment con. We get it. I don't need it. I'm poisoned. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Oh, this cures poison. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh, you freaking jerk. We're gonna have to get some more of that. 
What's over here? Okay, this doesn't look like a save room. <laughs> I want a save room? Do you people have those? So there does look, if you look on the map... Oh, what the hell is happening? Let's just stay away from him for now. It did look on the map... Look, there's a door downwards there, so I guess what? You gotta just let yourself sink in the sand, or what? <gasps> Here's a warp room. That's almost as good as a save room. Let's go back. <laughs> we'll use that save room there, and at least we can warp here. And, like I said, I kind of want to go faff at the Galleon Minerva a little bit. We have just a little bit left there. Because there was a lot of areas in that one that we could not reach. Listen, lady, I don't have your stuff. I know I don't. We didn't kill enough. We'll kill more, though. It's good to see you. So, what do you um, what do you have? Do you have anything new for me, sir? No. You have crap. Except for, I guess this sword is good. It's a katana, though. Let's get it. And then we can equip it and try it out if we want. We haven't used a katana up until this point. But it does have more... Ooh, demon horns. This would be nice. What do I need? I need two demon horns to make it. Well, doesn't that just make sense? The Knight's Curious. Honestly, I don't think that's worth it. If you get something better for me, let me know. Especially, like, these scarves. We have had, like, the best scarf. I'd like that flame scarf, actually. Raises your... You need a big spike for that. Hmm. We'll keep that in mind. What about our shards? Eh. That lethargy. What else am I going to use those toad's eye for? Let's do that just in case we do decide to use that lethargy. If it's good. And the, these guys, I'm not really interested in it. So... That's that. What about food? Ooh, I can make some stuff. Prepare this cake. As it turns out, it's really nice having that stuff. Omelets. Ooh, I can make a couple omelets. Nice. Just have them in our back pocket. Like, they came really handy during that blood bitch fight. That we just use that to heal ourselves. Make some more Chinese noodles. Why not? Sick. That one lady still wants pizza. We don't know how to make pizza, but... Okay, that's kind of a thick-ass promise to lay on me. Why don't you help out a little bit more, sir? Well, I guess he does have the store. He's kind of helpful. Heal this up. Nice. We're getting, like, closer and closer to the 70 or percent. How much are we at? 62.3% of the map is completed. So that's pretty good, actually. We might as well check in with this chick while we're here, right? Hello. I have something new to offer you. Do you? <laughs> we don't have much money at all. Let's see if she has anything new. Oh, and we didn't check out that katana, huh? Well, all your stuff is very expensive, lady. Like the gram, we have that. This would be really cool if we could get 12,000. We already have the... That katana. Beast spray, scale armor. And the order made scarf is not better for us, so I don't know... You have nothing for us, really, lady. That being said, sell? let's sell some of our loose shit. Like this atch, axe, and we'll keep that. Oh, I guess we did sell some of, most of our shit already, huh? Well, shit. What about shards? Summon bat. I kind of like that. Summon simian. I'm not going to use. <coughs> hmm. Summon water leaper. I'm not going to use. Throwing axe. I'm not going to use. I don't need two flame cannons because I'm just doing that if there's like another thing that I need to light. Red little grinder I don't really use anymore. I'm going to keep lethargy void ray. Eh. Let's see. Dagger expertise. I don't use daggers. I don't use spears. Resist strike, resist slash, I don't care. Money is power, we'll keep. Optimizer, we'll keep, because that's just lit. Words of wisdom, we'll keep. I guess we can keep that. We'll keep all of our familiars. So, with that being said, we can buy a couple more high potions to feel safe. 
because otherwise we'll die and some of these poison things and maybe three of them a relic that takes you wherever you want requires concentrate wait why have I not been using those can I just have I been faffing for no reason that's upsetting well let's go check out Galleon Minerva real quick because it is right over here right and we can check in with corn boy thanks for the rice let's grow more rice just keep it growing Harry how ironic is that oh yeah and you I kind of forgot about you what do you want oh the brigandine well we can buy one of those I eh, kind of forgot she existed maybe her side of quest is important but I forget get out of here I have an umbrella I'm not trying to mess with you uh, I just want to check out the rest of Galleon Minerva get it out of the way it was really cool to actually start the game on this ship though to be honest with you we're having flashback days remember when we thought this place was scary tee hee hee and this guy we thought he was scary now we hit it kill him in one hit that feels nice all right let's boop our booties over here because now that we have reflector ray there's really you can't stop us from getting wherever we want at this point what is this a pirate hat actually i think that's super good <laughs> nope it's trash wow oh you know what it is is i've been playing tales of vesperia in my off time and in that guy game you can synthesize and one of the synthesis that i need to make in that game while i'm playing is the pirate hat oh wow i guess galleon minerva has a warp well <gasps> isn't that unfortunate we just have one more room to get over here, and then we're 100% done with Galleon Minerva, as far as I know. So, light faffing. Hopefully, whatever this chest and part of this map that we haven't gotten yet, hopefully it's worth it. I mean, because, like I said, we are going for the 100% on the map. So we're going to have to fill out little spots like these. Halite. Eh, that might be useful. I don't know. Sir... You're not scary anymore. Cerulean Splash. We don't care about that. Nice. And what is this? The what? A crappy spear, but let's test out this katana. That's not bad, honestly. But if we're going to do that, let's take it off sword expertise and let's do amphibian... S no, not amphibian speed. Optimizer. Because now we're hitting for 70. That's a lot of freaking damage, dude. I'm sad to part with the cute umbrella, but I think it's totally worth. Alright, that being said, let's jump our way over to the warp, which is what? Ugh, that's kind of far. But it should be easy. Collect all these chests that refilled for n some unknown reason. Now, I think with this katana, because I did recognize the name. Oh, nice, Silver Knight. He was like, no, we're not dealing with that. I think there is like a... Like a... Uh -oh. There it is. It was a technique. That rolling technique. So we could do that if we need. I don't know if that'll if that's a better <laughs> experience or what, but we could do it. There's some bronze, cotton, sugar... Yeah. Overall, this faffing was not necessarily worth it. But that's fine. Ha 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 ha. That Silver Knight's sick. I love you, Silver Knight. I love you, Silver Knight. Uh. <laughs> Slice his head before he even grew. That was kind of cool. That's funny. Yeet. Yeetus Maximus. That's what we say. Oh my god, I can't even get over there. Okay, let's... I'm done with this. Let's try to use one of these. I don't remember what it does. Oh, it just takes you back home? Wow. So all these times I'm like, ooh, we should go back home, blah, blah, blah. We could just do that whenever we want with waystones? Well, now we know, huh? Good news for us. That being said... 
let's take advantage of this because there's some stuff down here before we keep going through that secret desert place which i'm still down to go through the secret desert place here in a minute but i just kind of want to get all of our ducks in a row here all of our fafts faffed. Because really the reason I don't want to just rush to the high desert right now. Ooh, let's get our ch -ch aqua stream back on. Is because we only have like five or so minutes left in the video. So to be productive, I think the best way is going to be to go down here. See what this world... Screw you. Actually, we need to kill you. You can't stay away from me. Six. So we only have to kill two more of those things. Wow, they die in two hits right now with the, that katana. That's sick. Aquatic blood. I'm sure that's a nice item to have. Not 100% sure on that, but one could assume, I guess. There's that thing that makes us move faster, I guess. If that's what you wanted to do in this life. Is this a fake wall over here? It sure is. Looked fake. What's over here? Oh, a chest that we can't get, but on the plus side, there is an max HP up that we can get, so it's sick. Can you die, horse? Like, seriously, get out of our way. Yeet, which I would never say in real life, but that horse was evil. It's trucking along. Let's go fill out the rest of here. Well, I'm glad we came down here, then. We got a max HP up, and obviously the map is getting completed. So that's neat. Tying up some of our loose ends. Okay, is this, like... Now we have to use Reflector Ray here. Oh, you can't use Reflector Ray underwater. But this definitely looks like a Reflector Ray place, and we can't fit in here like this, so I guess we'll have to come back. Well, that's interesting. Another loose end for us to tie up later, I guess. Die, you freaking fish. Nice, we got all of them. So next time we go home, we can talk to that lady and get whatever prize she gave us for that crap. It's fine. Ouch. Can you not? Alright. We still have time, though. That did not take as much of our time as I thought it would. So, let's go back to the desert and try to find a save room there. And then we can end the episode. How does that sound? If it ends up going a little bit longer, it ends up going a little bit longer. Because at least we're making progress. Alright, so back over... No, no, no. Over here. And then we'll go tie our loose ends. Later. So if we're back here, let's put Reflector Ray back on, because it's extremely useful. Wow, what? Poisoned right away, huh? It's a par, get out of my face. We need to watch out for those frogs, dude. They're really rude. Take that. Eat some fried fish. Scrumptious, she says. Yes, yes, yes. What is over here? That looks like a fake wall. Nope. Nope. There's really not that many in this game. Vol Volsha, you sound rude. Okay, that looks like another sinking room, which might be where we want to go, but let's check out over here first. A crystal. Actually, those crystals seem to be pretty useful. That's what we used to make these katana, so... One could only assume they're pretty nice. Get out of here, Volsha. She's rude. Actually, a lot of these enemies are rude. They're very in-your-face, kind of interfering. Oh, good, we got slowed. Thank you so much for that. Oh, and a frog. Our worst enemy. Is this a save room? Hello, we're looking for a save... This is just a room with a bookshelf. For those weapons that I can't pronounce, you go back, left, back, boom. A trio of slashes in a single breath. That sounds scary. No fake wall or anything over here? This was literally just for that bookshelf? Fine. Please don't slow me, nasty little red ghost. Okay, watch out, watch out. There's a lot of, a lot of danger in here we need to get rid of. <laughs> Oh, no! She got us down there. Let's eat our cake. And some omelets. And one high potion, I guess. No fake walls over here. That's interesting. We got a flame whip. 
It's not better than what we have, but still interesting nonetheless. And there's a chest over here. Nice, it actually had one of the things that cure poison. Luckily that slow doesn't seem to last too long on you, so it's not it's not like the worst thing ever. One of these has to be a save room, right? Before this elevator, it's a save room. Show enough is. So we're sitting at 63.6% .6 of the map. We're feeling pretty good about that. It's looking it's looking okay for right now. It'll get better as time goes on, but we're doing okay. So let's go ahead and save. Awesome. And we'll end this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Make sure to smash that like button. Show your support for the series. I always appreciate all your guys' support. It means a lot to me. Um, subscribe to the channel so you guys can see more content like this. And I, Savage Sage, will see you in the next episode.